What's up marketers, Rich here from richandniche.com and we are back with the third video of the series here on Notion Week and I've already gone over the overview of why Notion is one of the best productivity apps around and I already gave you five reasons why I switched from Evernote and Asana into Notion. But today, I'm going to cover the five ways I use Notion as a digital marketer. So with that said, let's jump in. Oh yeah, here we are. Five ways I'm using Notion as a digital marketer. Here we go. Number one, I store my client brand files, which I'm working on, and I'm always improving those, and I'm always adding to them. Let me go look at one. Brand files here. Here's a basic one from a very small client, pro bono client. In fact, he wouldn't care if I was sharing it. Um, but basically, I keep all of the brand info, such as their objectives, their brand guidelines, their avatars, what they offer, what I call golden thread copy, 12-point funnel audit, traffic generation plan, content database. These are the things I include in my brand files. I also do like tasks that someone might need to do, meeting notes, and reports. So that is the first way I use it is I create this master brand file and then anything I might need to reference or see as I work on any project for that client, uh, I can just reference it all in one place in Notion. And I actually typically don't share those files with the client because I may want to keep my own thoughts or perspectives on certain things. Um, so at this point, I'm currently not sharing those files. The next thing I do as a digital marketer is I use Notion to run my YouTube channel and work with an editor. So let's go over to my marketing deck, YouTube marketing. Here we go. Here is the dashboard for my YouTube marketing um, program. Basically, I have some goals listed. I have uh, the team information, who's going to be doing what, who's responsible, who's accountable. Uh, I have a video development standard operating procedure, basically a checklist we follow. Uh, there's some YouTube best practices here to remind people who look at this. If you go into the content calendar, you can see all the videos I have prepared coming for the YouTube channel. And uh, you can also see that some have already been published and are scheduled. So this is a great way to uh, keep everything in check. And you can quickly go over to the calendar. Here you can see this month's upload schedule. Isn't that easy? I can easily drag and drop these, move them. And uh, there's different ways to look at your content, right? You can see it all in different ways. Very, very powerful. Okay, so that's the second way I use it as a marketer. Number three is I'm starting to build online courses and learning platforms inside of Notion because Notion has like some really good uh, sharing properties, the way you can share the workspace access. It's very good for potentially giving people private access to a course. Um, so here is the overlay of the course I'm developing. At the top, there is all the knowledge transfer materials. I've got looks like eight module, three modules with eight lessons. There's an implementation engine. I don't want to go too much into this because this is my private course, but this is sort of um, another way you can use Notion is actually creating information databases that you could sell to people and they could go in and use Notion as an application. Um, and then there's easy ways to export the information into PDFs and such. I use it for writing content. As you can see, you're in a basically a note draft right now. Um, you know, you can do full width or not different ways, depending on how much data is here. So that looks pretty cool. Designing content, you can design a blog for sure with drag and drop pictures, columns, whatever you need. And you can certainly plan content as you saw in my YouTube deck. Um, and I also use it occasionally to price complex packages. Um, where can I show you that? Uh, here you can see I'm developing some multiple options here for a program and I want to be able to see all the information. So what it is, who's it for, what's included, bonuses, why you should get it, how to get started. You see how it really expands out. 
uh, and I like to keep it in these toggled lists so that I can basically see very clearly pricing packages um, in perspective and in relativity next to each other so that I can see, okay, well, if this package has this much included and this many bonuses relative to this, it's going to be able to easier pricing that for you. So sometimes those get a little complex. I like to look at it in three columns because so often we present our offers or our packages in three choices. It's really nice to do that. So I don't know what else to tell you guys. If you're not convinced yet that this is just the best productivity app for both digital marketers, content creators, and really most entrepreneurs, I mean, sure, another one could come along, but this is finally that first software that really has everything. So make sure you check out the whole playlist of these videos. I am gonna be making at least five for now, um, but I believe if you watch the entire series, you'll really have a great understanding of how to deploy this software for your own benefit. So you can go to get uh, you can get this software at richandniche.com slash notion. You'll get a free $10 credit, which will basically give you access to the software at a premium rate uh, for at least one month. I think it's eight or ten dollars a month. I can't remember. It's not very expensive. That's why this is a really great software. Because I think I was paying like 50 bucks a month for Asana just to have like other people come into the workspace or whatever, something like that. And it's just like, that's so expensive for that. And now I think it's like $8 per person that you bring in. And there's so many ways to share materials free. Like you don't have to pay for people in many cases. So I believe I'm spending maybe 16 bucks a month on Notion right now. And it meets most of my needs for now. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like these kind of videos, why don't you give this a thumbs up? That lets me know that I can make more screen share tutorials and whatnot. And uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're thinking about becoming a digital marketer, especially full stack, because that's really the specialty that we teach, um, you know, both content creation and the distribution. So important to know both sides. And you're gonna find that Notion is the perfect software to create and to plan around your strategy for distributing. That's why I love it. All right, guys, see you in the next video.